I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Right now I'm going to show you guys how to beat the taller boxers, okay, the taller fighters with uh, longer arms, more range, more reach, more height that are hard to, hard to get to. Uh, this is how I would do it. The first thing is um, getting into range. So they're very tall, they have a longer reach. Whatever you use to get into range, you can either slip into range, slip, okay, slip, or roll your way into range, or you get a high guard, and walk in, and block everything. You know, this doesn't always work. You know, if you walk in with the high guard, he walks away with jabs. So, you gotta be a little bit clever. Now, whatever you use, whatever method you use to come inside, it can't be a method that wastes energy, okay? If you have to jump in, it's, uh, don't rely on that. Okay, I'm not saying don't be fast. Be fast, but try not to jump in. Maybe I'm uh, moving here, and, and I'm in, and I fire a shot. Okay, close the distance. That's like half the battle. And uh, when can you close the distance? Usually, uh, you, got, you have to learn how to move inside the jab. Okay, so get used to moving inside side, the jab. You see the jab? You're in. Okay, or jab, other way. I'm in. Okay, learn how to get inside the jab. And it's very hard to get inside the jab because the jab is such a fast punch. So that's why you walk in, you come, and you're in. And actually, that's, that was a little too fast. Maybe I'm here, and that's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Use that kind of speed, use that kind of tension. You know, it's very relaxed when you slide your way in. Now, once you get inside on the tall fighter, there's three things you want to do. You want to hit him, or you want to push him, or you want to slip. What you don't want to do is run away, because if you run away, now you have to take all this energy to come back in again. You want to stay with him. So here's what I would do. If I'm inside against a tall guy, all everything you learn in boxing applies. I throw my punches. If I see a hook, I throw a hook. If I see an uppercut, I throw an uppercut. If I see a right hand, I throw a right hand. But the one thing I would like to add, I would give you, is that overhand shots really work on a tall guy. Boom, okay? I come in there, boom. Or I'm here, here, over the top with the hook. And I'll show you why. If I'm a tall person, and there's a shorter guy here, that means I always have to punch down. And if they're always punching down, that means you can always fly over the top with an overhand shot. Okay? And if they're not punching down, then what you can do is come down here to make them punch down, then fly over the top with big punches over the top. So throw the overhand shots, you know, do all, throw all your punches, but overhand shots work really well against the tall guys. Second thing, you want to push them. Uh, you're fighting a taller guy, he's the same weight class, that means you got more meat, more muscle, okay? You, you certainly don't want to run away from him, you want to push him around on the rope, get him off his balance. You can push him with shots, you can use a pushing jab, you know, if he blocks up, use a pushing jab to force him off balance, or you can just kind of lay on him, okay? When I lay on him, I don't lay on him with my arms, I lay on him with my chest. I get my chest in there, and then I fire shots around the guard. And I'm not like this where he's pulling down on my head. I'm, I'm still staying on my axis, but I, I'm, I'm hustling him. You know, I'm surrounding him and, and I'm shoving him back. Okay, uh, next thing you want to do is to evade, to slip. Remember, you don't want to run away from a tall guy because you spent all this energy coming in. To slip the tall guy, I stand right here and I slip. I slip from the bottom, okay? Now, what I don't do is I'm, I'm not stepping around with my feet and doing all this footwork and trying to jump around. It's way too much energy. You just stay here. Now, if you do it right, if you do it right, he's not going to feel that you're right in front. He's going to feel that you're here and here. Okay, so this takes a lot of slipping skills. You want him to feel that you're always in his pocket. And I'll show you why. Because when I'm here and there's a guy right here, I feel very annoyed. And it makes me overswing my left hand. Now he's here again. I overswing my right hand. Now he's in this pocket. Now he's in this pocket. So you want him to overswing. You move to the other pocket. He overswings. You move here. He shoots this. You're there. Okay, so whatever way you slip, try to make him feel as if you're constantly at this angle or at this angle. But actually, you're here in the center. It takes skills, but uh, that's the best way I can explain it. And you know, you want him to overreach, overswing, gives you more time to counter pulls him off balance, makes him tired, and uh, gives you the counter-punching opportunities. So those are the basic tips for fighting taller guys, and uh, hope you like it. I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out my boxing website, 
expertboxing.com for more great tips. Thanks for watching.